Hi guys, I'm back again with the part 2 of the tutorial on drawing a child portrait. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw the hair and the ribbon. I've already mentioned the art supplies used for this drawing in the previous video, so I'm not going to list it here again. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial, you can click the card above to go back and see the art supplies I have used. I have shown you how to draw the skin tone and eyes in the previous video, so I'm straight away going to the hair drawing part. I've already made a hair drawing tutorial not that long ago. But today I'm going to show you the conventional method of hair drawing without the use of a solvent. I used a solvent in the previous tutorial because of the rough texture of the paper used back then. But today I'm using a smooth bristol so we don't need the solvent anymore. We just need some nicely sharpened pencils. As you can see here, the hair is golden brown in color and I have completed a small part of the hair already. Now I'm going to draw a small area so that you can understand what I did to get that shiny hair. You may have noticed that I already laid down a layer of color as a base. It is done using a beach color from Prismacolor. From the reference image you can easily pick a base color by looking at the lightest part of the hair. Here beach was the most similar color I could find from my box of colored pencils. After applying the base color we can draw over it and peel the color slowly. Always use a sharp point while drawing hair. It helps to improve the realism. Then I am using a walnut brown from Polychromos to draw the hair strands. First thing you have to do is identify the direction of hair. Then you can use the pencil to create the lines in the direction of hair. The pencil stroke should be a tapering stroke and it should end at the beginning of the highlighted area. Some may not be able to draw such a stroke so I strongly suggest you to practice this on a scrap paper before attempting the real drawing. You have to draw this from both ends if the highlight is in the middle. Here the highlight is towards one end. So I didn't have to draw from the other side that much. Even at this stage the hair looks very flat and boring. It is because we haven't achieved the real contrast. So for that I am going to use several other colors like indigo blue, dark red and black. At first I am using an indigo blue from Prismacolor and I am repeating the same strokes I have done with the previous pencil. Be careful not to go beyond the previous lines, we just have to darken the lines we already made. Now I am using a dark red from Polychromos as the next layer. When the indigo blue and dark red is combined we get a really dark color. And the dark red helps to give the hair a reddish tint which makes it much more natural than this flat looking colors. It is hard to see in this video but you will understand what I am saying when you are drawing. And finally you can even add the black to darken it further. Here I haven't used the black color straight away to darken the shadows because if I use black color alone I will only get an unnatural grayish black. It will not give you a realistic result. Now to make it a bit more golden and colorful, we can add colors such as golden road or raw amber. But we just have to use them in the lighter parts only. Darker parts won't show the golden color anyway. Now after adding a lot of layers of colors, most of the lines we made in the initial layers now got blurry. So to make it sharp again. Take the walnut brown again to make some lines. You can draw lines from end to end at this stage. This will help to get a look of small bundles of hair. You can use the same methods to draw the remaining hair. As we have finished the eye, skin tone and hair, we can relax and do the remaining parts. All the remaining parts are fairly easy and mistakes are not very noticeable. So today I'll show you how to draw the ribbon. And I'll show you how to draw the clothes in the next tutorial. The ribbon is made of a bright green silk, so there should be a huge contrast to make it look shiny. For that I'm using the lightest green for the highlighted parts and dark green and black for the shadows. I'm using chartreuse from Prismacolor as the base layer. I use chartreuse as the base layer because it is the lightest color on the ribbon. Now I am using apple green as the next color. Notice that I am using a light pressure to build up the color slowly. And the change from light color to the dark color is not very smooth. 
This abrupt change in the color helps to give the drawing a shiny and reflective look. It is just like drawing a metallic object where we change the colors abruptly. Now to accentuate the contrast I am using a darker pencil grass green from Prismacolor. You just have to put a layer on top of the previous color. I am going back to the previous color to make it look smoother like I did in skin tone. Now I am using the dark green for the really dark areas. After putting the dark green uniformly over the shadow, I will use a black pencil and even a dark red to make it really dark. This way you can complete the entire ribbon easily. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can follow me on all social media linked below. If you have any questions ask me on Facebook or Instagram where well, I will try to answer as soon as possible.